sticks sticks now I'm sure I have sticks somewhere maybe it's time to build proper storage room maybe it's time to build a real house instead of just a hole in the ground that's slowly growing and growing what sticks around here no no, oh, I'm sure I had sticks. Did I see sticks? There we go. Sticks. Got them. Hey guys, welcome back to episode 3 on the FHD server. If you didn't know, FHD stands for Flucraft Horizons Divided. That's what all the cool kids call it anyway. Uh, in this episode, I think we're going to start building our storage system, main house, something along those lines. Guess if we're going to build a storage room, we're going to need a lot of chests. I'm going to go somewhere and find lots of wood. So mega building is our topic and if you followed my channel for a while you'd notice that on my last server I had some big buildings. It was a pretty big project. Probably took me about a year and a half to finish that project. And um, in this server I have the same sort of ideas. Some of my ideas will take a year and a half, two years to finish. Other ones might be a little bit quicker. Um, I tend to break it up into smaller smaller projects and then you just want this like jigsaw of small projects to come together to be one big project in the end. And that's kind of what we're doing here. I would say the key to mega building is a mix between planning and preparation and not planning and preparation. I know it sounds a little bit strange I don't think you can go ahead and plan every single block. You have to let some just be created as you're building. But on the other side of things, you do need to have a little bit of a plan of what you're doing, where you're doing it, and how you're doing it. Preparing space, making sure that you have more than enough space and resources to do the job. So you don't sort of stop halfway through and lose that creativeness and then have to go and collect resources or dig a hole and then you've not sure what you're doing and kind of lose interest in the project itself. Well, as you can see, there's a beacon beam there and I've been doing a little bit of preparation. Let's go and take a look at that. And here we are, our future build site. As you can see, I've been doing a little bit of preparation. We've got a place here for our large building and even a few places where we might have some columns, mostly just counting and spacing out. So I sort of knew what type of space I'm preparing. However, today we are building a storage system or a storage room, I'm not really sure yet, and we're actually going to build that underneath. This site is for a future build, which will be coming up later on. And here is the location for our storage system room unit, whatever it's going to be. As you can see, there is plenty of space here. I've dug it all out, done all the grinding work, created the space, so now we can create a storage room. Now this may be a little bit big, however, I've allowed for the fact that the floor might be two or three blocks high. I've allowed for the roof to be two or three blocks deep. Walls could come in one, two, three even. That way we can create interesting walls with a bit of depth in for the floors and the roof. We might build rooms within here of separate little storage rooms. We might have a furnace system. There's plenty of things that we can build within this space. But the uh, idea is, now we have the space, so now we can just look in here and start to create. And saying that, I will need a little bit of time to start doing that creating. I'm going to have to have a little think about what we're going to be putting in here and where. Probably place some little markers around the place and I guess we start moving some chests down in temporary locations. Um, and then we can just slowly build the room around them but we really need to start organizing our chests so that's probably priority one okay so i got a bit of an idea of what's going on uh you can see we've just started breaking up the floor with different spaces that gave me a little bit of ideas of what could go where and where could go what that doesn't make sense <laughs> um and we've started building something over on this wall so it's just a bit more of the shape at the moment there'll be a lot more detailing that happens but we're starting to have like a little bit of a storage room that we can move in here as a bit of a starting point. Uh, we're going to make an entrance in and out. And here's a concept of how we're going to do a lot of the floor or at least incorporate into the floor. So you can have redstone that's all visible 
This is actually functional, so it swaps the block around so we can have useful blocks or light or whatever we want. Um, but we might also have some useless redstone, more for looks, to fill up the floor. I have this big open space in the middle here, and I think what we might do is dig down here even further so that way this becomes like a balcony that's looking down onto something else I'm not sure what that would be yet so eventually this is going to be a very big project however the trick is to break it down into smaller segments to play with um, so they're just future ideas that come to me while i'm building or while i'm doing things but we are here at the moment creating some sort of storage place to start with at least this will be able to help us organize our little pit that little bit more. So is this working? Yes. Cool. This is our way out. Oh, that's handy. That's going to be there. So we might even extend this top bit here a bit further out. So this pathway can run right across the front of this. And we can remove that hill and these trees. And then we can incorporate this as a formal entry. But part of this building or maybe a separate building not part of this particular one but part of the complex of this building See, that's how it's created just pop up and ideas come to you this project will become a bit of a work in progress this is not something we're going to finish in this episode or in the next few we'll probably come back to it a few times and build little bits as we go I'm thinking I want like a potion brewing room, an enchanting room, some furnace rooms, as well as like bulk storage with automation that sorts it for us. So there's going to be lots of little bits. I guess this is going to be our main like base, our main headquarters. So above it, we'll probably build the main headquarter building as well. Um, and this could take a few months. But by the time it's finished, it's going to be a mega build. So I've got a lot of work to do here, but we might just jump into something a little bit different. Alrighty, so that was a little bit of fun. Yes, we got shulker boxes. Now my ender chest is starting to look organized and we're going to be able to start carrying a lot more things around. This is going to be good. Also been doing a bit of work in our storage area. So we've um yeah been reorganizing these things a little bit. We do have a few villagers hiding in the walls. Um, but we do have this start of a bulk storage so yeah, just a place where we can keep all of our stone and dirt and all of, you know, all of them fun things. So another way a little up here, we come and we got, yeah, okay, so we got our input to be able to dump stuff away and we've got some places where you can put a shulker box on, let it drain out and then you can turn it off so you can get your shulker box back. But yeah, this place is starting to come together a little bit. At least from the beginning of this video to now, you can start to see that this mega build is starting to take some sort of form 
However, this is how you do a mega build. You have a big idea and then just start small little projects, just like this wall, just like this staircase. Small little projects and over time they all connect together and eventually we're going to have this completely finished and looking amazing. But until next time, I thank you for watching. Please leave a comment. Let me know what your thoughts are. If you enjoyed this video, why not press that like button? And um, bye bye.